Hello and welcome Zamora Gaming fans, I am your host, Joe Zamora here, and if you hear some funny ass noise in the background, that's my best friend, Daniel Maldonado. You can find him on TikTok at Maldi Nacho, Maldi underscore Nacho, so that's a little shout out to him. Recently changed it, it's D Mall underscore fit. Whatever the fuck that means. Anyway... Um, we got Morgan this week for our week two battle, and we're going to send out War Machine first because we are kind of worried about, uh, Heliolisk, uh, Choice Scar Fault Switch. Daniel doesn't know what the fuck I'm talking about, so don't expect him to talk any Pokemon talk. But, I will be doing that part. He'll just make funny comments in the background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Might have to be a little louder than that. Oh, yeah. There we go. <clears throat> and if you haven't noticed, I had a few too many. But we should still be able to kick Morgan's ass, hopefully. I'm not going to get too arrogant and cocky about that. Because when you get cocky, you're just being a dick. But at the same time, I heard Morgan ain't worthy. <laughs> I was going to get a little bit more vulgar, but... I don't know where you heard that from. It wasn't me. PG-13. It was through Google. I Googled it. Oh, okay. It ain't worth it. Morgan Oko Gaming. Don't forget to check out his video. His link will be uh, in the description below once I finish recording this video. And he actually let out with the Seismitoad. So we are going to switch out here because that is not the Mon we were expecting. And he's probably going to get out his Stealth Rocks here. So we're going to switch straight to Undertaker. <clears throat> because we have Power Herb Solar Beam to knock this thing out in one hit. I special order my shoes because they can't size my toes. <laughs> <laughs> so, for those who don't understand what I'm talking about. Alright, so he switched out Seismitoad and went straight to hit him on top. Which is a very interesting... Very interesting move on his part when he actually had type advantage against me because Rock, uh, Wat Rock is four times weak to the water type Pokemon he had. But he might be confused by my switch here. But we're going to go ahead and go for the Air Slash on the Hitmontop because it is super effective so it does double damage. I have to over explain because Daniel does not know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm learning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He hasn't played since, what, Gen 3? Mm -hmm. Sapphire and Emerald. Oh, yeah. So this should be a fun, nice commentary battle. So let's see what him on top decides to do here. If he has the Rock Slide, he pretty much Oko's our Charizard here. Because that is a four-time effective move. And he switches the hit on top. And goes straight to Greedent. So let's see how much this Air Slash does. And if it does a good amount of damage, we will go ahead and attack it again. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so we get the critical hit. So that's maybe not exactly what we want here, but he cannot belly drum now. So we're going to go ahead and switch out to our Berserker because we resist any move he decides to go for. Other than Stomping Tantrum, of course. But since we have a Flying type and that resist Ground type moves, I do not believe he will go for that. Okay, Grudent comes out. And that's a lot of switches on Morgan's part. But we're going to go ahead and go for a Seed Bomb here. Because that is four times effective due to his water and ground typing. I don't think Morgan's ready. We get the Scald here. We take it pretty well. Hopefully we don't get the burn, and we don't. So that does not have our attack. And Seismitoad goes down. Seismitoad took the whole load. <laughs> Alright, so we have him on top out again. Lowers our attack, but we are choice banded here. And Seed Bomb's not going to do much to it anyway. So let's go ahead and go back out to Undertaker. Because that's the only Pokemon we really have to take care of this thing. And again, hopefully it doesn't go for a uh, Rock-type move. Because that will do the damage uh, to Undertaker. 
<laughs> okay, so he straight up goes for the fighting type move there. Oh no, he did it! But he did, and it didn't do much because we are flying type, so we resist that. I don't think he stays in here. And I believe he goes to Heliolisk. Hopefully it's dry skin. Hold on. Let's see. What else has he got? Ain't got no Vaseline because it's dry. <laughs> well, hopefully it is dry skin. We're just going to go ahead and go for a mighty flamethrower. It's stab and it can hit any of his mons perfectly well. And he does withdraw the hit on top and Heliolisk does comes out. Let's see if it is focus sashed. And it's, it doesn't do enough damage, so it does half damage. And let's see here. Undertaker. Yeah, it doesn't do enough damage here, but... Okay. I think we'll be fine here. We are going to take a Surf. Maybe. Hopefully he goes for Thunderbolt, though. And we're going to go to War Machine here. If he goes to Surf, we should be fine. But that's what I'm assuming it goes for. Okay, so he Dynamaxes here. That makes it double the size. or It makes it a Skyscraper type Pokemon. And it does a lot more damage than it normally would. I got a question for you. Yeah? Why does your character... <clears throat> not your Pokemon, your character. Yeah. Look like Bad Bunny. And he's about to drop the hottest <laughs> album of 2020. Oh, that's what Linda said. She said it looks like Bad Bunny. And honestly, I cannot disagree. The boy about to drop some bars. Okay, so he's wasting his Dynamax here. And we are also going to waste ours. And we're going to go ahead and go for the Max Knuckle here to get an attack boost. He's going to go for Surf, I'm assuming, the Max Water Geyser. But we're going to go for the Max Knuckle and get that attack boost here. Big boy. Big boy's on the screen. Hey, take up three quarters of that screen. <laughs> so luckily he went for the Max Electric attack last turn. And we resist it completely since we're ground type. And Daniel, you're an electrician. Electricity always takes the least resistance path to ground. Exactly. And ground is completely resistant to electric moves because that's what helps places not burn down is when you ground electric wires. In a, in a nutshell. In a nutshell. It's not that simple, guys, so do not do electrician work on your own. Trust me, it would only end badly. You can hire me at 1-800-DON'T-CALL-ME. <laughs> Alright, so technically we get a pretty good move on that part. We waste his Dynamax, we still have ours. Let's see what he decides to send out here. We are max HP, max special defense, and he sends out Hitmon top. I do believe we could take one hit in Dynamax form. And we are back to neutral because of the Intimidate lowers our attack. That is a big Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen. Very so. And let's go ahead and just do a max Rockfall to change the weather to sand instead of water. Mm. Acted like a god. Oh, man. So we did not live that hit there. But Hitmontop's attack and speed both fall. There's no more Heliolisk, and there is no answer for Charizard now. It is truly a story of David and Goliath, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and David won that one. As in the Bible. Yep. So, it's, statistically, it's a very accurate battle so far. <clears throat> but now we're flying. Now we are flying, and he is negative uh, defenses in both. We cannot go for a fire type move because it, is, because it is weakened due to the rain. And fire is not good when water is around. So we're just going to go ahead and go for an air slash here. It's a whap. <laughs> it's a whap. So 
wet ass Pokemon. <laughs> it's a wet ass Pokemon. <laughs> All right, so he decides to go for a greedent here, and it is a very questionable move on Morgan's part. But what he, you doing, Morgan? But he does have the uh, the berry to boost his defense, and it also raises his uh, HP a little bit due to his ability. But the the berry that he just ate boosts his defense, not his special defense. So Charizard might get the knockout here. Oh, but it doesn't. But Morgan decides to rest. He rests easy on this turn. R.I.P. Dog. R.I.P. R.I.P. Rest in Pokemon. <laughs> and now we can go for a solar. Be- uh, no, sorry, not solar beam. Another air slash here. And get that damage because his Greedent's automatically going to be asleep for two turns. So he's a t- he decides to take out his sleeping Pokemon and go straight to Reuniclus. Oh, that's a new one. I've never heard of that one. Yeah, that's Gen 5. I'm on Gen 3, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen. And Charizard gets another crit. That is short for critical. Yes, very critical hit. I'm catching up. (laughs) All right, and now we're going to go for another Air Slash over a Flamethrower, just because Air Slash has a chance to make his Pokemon flinch due to his speed stat. And he can't move! So we get a free kill on this Reuniclus if he decides not to switch it out. (laughs) (laughs) Something's going to take a mighty air slash here. And honestly, RNG has been in our favor in this game. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if RNG has been the exact factor that has switched everything. Dang. But, you know, it's definitely helped. But he gets some RNG in return, and he goes ahead and gets a miss on his part. We're going to go ahead and go to Tease, because I believe he's going to try to do a Thunder Wave to half our speed. And Prankster ability does not work against Dark types. How come that Pokemon looks like Ronnie Coleman? That one? Yeah. Because he's just buff as hell. Okay. And there's nothing we can do about it. I bet every time he goes number two, it looks just like him. (laughs) It looks like Stewie in the Family Guy episode. Very lumpy. Alright, so it gets a light screen off, which has our special attack. But Lightbird is max attack, expert belt, gunk shot, which is super effective on Grimmsnarl. And we take it out with the one hit KO. I wish my dog looked like that. (laughs) That's technically a cat. I'm not going to say anything bad about cats. <laughs> I don't like that. Alright, so Hitmontop comes back out and lowers our attack again. So obviously we're going to switch back out to Undertaker and he might go for the rock type move on this part. But let's see if he's willing to risk it. And sorry guys, I totally forgot to play my battle music in the back. And he does not go for the rock type move. He goes for a close combat. His special attack, I mean special defense and regular defense goes down here. So we're going to go ahead and just hit it with a mighty air slash because pretty much his whole team does not want to take that hit. So let's go ahead, go for an air slash here and see what happens. Him on top is with Drew. Greedent comes out and I still believe it stays asleep for two turns. I do not know the exact mechanics when you switch out a Greedent from Rest, but I'm sure that's pretty much what happens here. So we're going to go ahead and switch out and go to Lone Wolf here. Hopefully this Greedent stays asleep for an extra turn. Okay, so Greedent does stay fast asleep. So we're going to go ahead, go for the super effective close combat here, and this should do enough damage to knock it out. Oh, man. And down goes the fat boy. Hey, Google, how do you think this is going? Oh, my gosh. Joe, 
Bravo is destroying Morgan. Somebody please pray for Morgan. Dang! <laughs> Google knows what's up. Jesus Christ. Okay, Google. That was a very good prediction there. And we should be able to outspeed the rest of his Pokemon here. So Reuniclus should go down to this crunch. I do not know if it has any priority moves. But Lycanroc is our original cleaner for this battle. And it should knock out the rest of his team. We built this Lycanroc with the Life Orb ability. Plus Tough Claws. Adamant, of course. Because we do not need the Jolly ability against his team. Because attack is more important than speed here. What? Did y'all see that crunch? There Ooh. was no cinnamon toast in front of that. <laughs> And then we have a fully healed Hitmontop somehow. Magic. But we're going to go ahead and just stay. No, we're not going to stay in here. He clearly does not keep going for the rock type move. So we're going to go safely to the Undertaker here. He's scared, Joe. He's scared. <laughs> and let's see if we can finally get this air slash kill off on this Hitmontop. So he does go for the close combat again, and that is not enough to take out Undertaker here. Hit him on top, Joe. <laughs> and hit him on top cannot safely switch out here. And it is a defensive Pokemon, not specially defensive. So this Air Slash should take out this hit him on top. No problems at all. Oh, wait. He goes for a Sucker Punch and takes out Undertaker. That is a very good move on his part. That's cheap, bro. That's cheap. Uh, it's perfectly fine. Nah. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and go to Lone Wolf and try to get this play rough off on this Hitmontop. Now that it is lowered in defense and it did not lower our attack. So as long as we hit this move, this should take out the Hitmontop due to the defense drop. And we should win 4-0. Okay, so he goes for Protect here. I mean, prolonging the battle. But, uh, I mean, you, you do you, Morgan. Not, not abating the inevitable, boy. <laughs> All right, here we go with the play rough again. Let's go ahead and make sure we get this hit off on this hit on top. He goes for the Sucker Punch, which is not going to do much to Lone Wolf. And we hit the play rough, and down goes hit on top with a one-hit KO. Go to sleep, boy. And we win with the mighty 4-0 over Morgan Oko Gaming. Again, guys, please leave a like, subscribe, and go ahead and check out Morgan's side of the battle over on his channel down in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Who can say that you played well? I can't, oh well. <laughs>